Welcome back to my channel. I'm Adara Belmore, and today I'm going to do a quick pick a card reading for you people, or shall I call it pick a stone reading? Yeah, because I'm going to be using my brand new, absolutely gorgeous deck that you can see right in front of me, the Light Sears Tarot by Chris N. It's a beautiful deck. The images, the artwork is absolutely stunning. And it's the kind of deck which, the kind of artwork that's done done in the deck, it's it's something I can relate to. It's my kind of thing, you know, it's my kind of art. The expressions, um, some of the cards are exactly the way I envision uh, these cards. You know, it's, it's strange. It's a strange coincidence. So I resonate with this deck very much. So let's get to the reading without wasting much time. You have got four gemstones in front of you to choose from so for card number one you have got this beautiful carnelian card number one carnelian card number two it's geode card number three smoky quartz and card number four this amethyst pointer amethyst point pointer whatever <laughs> and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be using only one deck and one card and like it's mentioned in the title of the video this is this reading is about your spiritual growth how far have you come in your spiritual journey in your spiritual path okay so you can meditate on the stones in front of you or meditate on the numbers. Close your eyes. Take deep breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale. Relax your mind. Let go of any tensions, anxiety, any thoughts anything just focus on the question how far have you come in your spiritual journey in your spiritual path and I shall begin with the first card or the first gemstone number one which is the beautiful carnelian so welcome carnelian people or card number one people I'm going to do the shuffling I'm going to shuffle this beautiful deck and take out a card for you which has come up faster than I thought so my dear Carnelian people you have got this card five of Pentacles now this card symbolizes uh, and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything some sorrow some sadness some sad kind of energy some low vibes low energy uh, Regret, remorse, looking at the past, feeling left out in the cold, rejection, all these things are associated. So I'm feeling, I'm getting this message that those who have selected the, this pile, uh, some of you have gone through a breakup with a literal human partner, which is having its effect on your spiritual practice or some kind of, uh, some kind of separation, either separation with your, uh, loved one your family member it could it could be even i'm sorry to say this but death of a family member or loved one or separation from them even divorce or a normal breakup uh for many of you i'm feeling those who have broken up or are in a state of separation from your partner you're going to come back together uh something something has made you feel down for some of you, you have separated from or in a, on the verge of separation or feeling separated or rejected uh, from your spirit partner, incubi, succubi, any other demonic partner or any other spirit partner. You're feeling, you're, you're not able to feel them very much. So you're feeling sad. Uh, you're feeling like they have left you or they have left. You can't feel their energy anymore. Uh, for others, you have been rejected by, uh, you have, you feel I won't say you have been you rather feel rejected by a higher being a deity a god a goddess even uh, it could be a demonic lord 
or demonic goddess. Uh, for, for, for many people, I'm hearing names like Lilith. I heard Lilith. Uh, Belial, Lucifer. These are the three names I'm hearing. But it hasn't got to be like, it's not necessary that it's only these three. But yeah, many of you who are working with these three or have been working or have contacted these three, definitely you're feeling a sense of rejection. Even Satan I'm hearing, like you feel like they're a big deal or they're not answering your calls or you're not able to connect to them the way you would like to connect to them. Uh, there is some issue involved here which is making you feel down, uh, which is making you feel like you can't do it. Uh, okay, but the truth is that the key is just lying beside you at a distance and you can't see you're not looking at the key you're looking at the closed door and some of you are not even looking at the closed door you're just looking down you're just feeling so down about things that you feel like there is no ray of hope but the key is actually being given to you you're not able to acknowledge it so give yourself some time to relax and to get back your energy so that you can recognize the key that is lying somewhere there. This key could be messages that you're receiving, but you're not able to understand them. Or some signs, some symbol, some spiritual downloads, but you're not like, a, you're kind of like not having the energy or the inclination to acknowledge it. Because your all your energy is going into this sad, sad kind of feeling. Emotional healing is needed here. What I sense is that if you feel rejected or let down, then that is just something you are feeling that is not the truth, is what I'm hearing. The sunlight is coming in from somewhere, but you're not looking at the sunlight. Your head is down. You're too busy, regretting, feeling sorrow, sadness, low vibes, stuff like that. Whereas the truth is that the ray of hope is there, the key is lying there. All you have to do is just relax yourself, heal yourself, take take some time. You know, take some care of yourself, and then you'll be back, back on track. That was it for pile number one. I'm sorry, card number one or the Carnalian people. I wish you all the best, sending you love and healing. Take good care of yourself. And remember, tough times don't last. This too shall pass. Yo. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to card number two or the geode people. Hey, geode people. How are you? I love this geode stone. It repels negativity. It clears negativity in your... What do you see? Uh, what do you say? Um, in your surroundings. Nice, pretty stone. Okay, so I'll be picking a card for you to tell you where are you at right now in your spiritual journey in terms of growth. Who? 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 We've got three of wands. If you're waiting for a sign from the other side, from your uh, God, Goddess, Deity, Demon, uh, Spirit Companion, Spirit Guide, then you're going to receive it soon. You're going to receive some gifts, uh, some messages, so even some dreams, visitations, stuff like that. You're waiting on something and what you're waiting for is going to arise. Some of you are going to, I'm sorry, some of you are going to receive some spiritual gnosis or you're already receiving it. So keep your mind open. Be in receiving mode. Be in your feminine energy. It doesn't matter you're a man or a woman, that hardly matters. Spirit, sp spiritual beings don't see you like that. They don't care much about it. For some of you, I'm hearing the message that you have to take this boat or what, whatever, like you have to find out a way to reach the other side. What this means is that you have to way you have to find out a way that works for you uh, to contact or to connect effectively with your spirit guides, your demons, your god and goddess, whatever spirits you're working with. 
if it's a companion or a couple of companions, you have to f find out ways to reach out to them because they are reaching out. They are reaching out. And you may be waiting, thinking that, you know, when will they reach out to me or when will I hear something, feel something or get some messages. But the truth is that they're sending. You need to be in that energy to receive it. It sounds good to me because many of you are going to receive some spiritual gifts. Okay, I'm hearing astral gifts for some of you. Like if you have companions or uh, spirit guides, spirit mentors, patrons, some demonic patrons also I'm hearing. You're going to receive some very good gifts from them in terms of knowledge, wisdom, gnosis or literal material gifts. That was it for you, geode people. Card number two. Take good care, uh, care of yourself and stay tuned to my channel. Yo. Moving on to card number three or smoky quartz people. Very earthy, very beautiful smoky quartz. Welcome. And I'm going to take a card for you to tell you where are you? in your journey of spiritual growth and i already got the card and the card is the beautiful chariot hmm galloping fast going ahead good good what i feel is that you're doing good you're fast and furious you're dynamic you're brimming with energy you have a lot of energy you have a lot of energy uh, but what I'm feeling is that for some of you, your head and your heart could be pulling you in two different directions. For some of you, not all of you. So you need to arrive at a state of balance and harmony between the mind and the heart. I'm also hearing achieving balance between mind and matter. Or sorry, the spiritual and the material. Achieving balance between the spiritual and the material sides of you. Spiritual and material sides of your life. This is very important. This is a specific message message I'm hearing for some of you. If you're thinking of quitting your job to pursue spiritual practice, don't do it. Carry on your job and find out time to devote to your spiritual practice. It's not advisable to leave your job for this. The sun is rising on the horizon. You're ready. To take the plunge to go ahead but watch out for hurdles and obstacles on the way don't stumble and fall if you do get up get up clean yourself up and start again I'm also hearing balancing two tendencies. It could be balancing masculine and feminine within you, the yin and the yang factor within you. Work with that, you know, work with the Shiva and Shakti within you. Uh, work with the Kundalini energy. I'm also hearing balancing the light and the dark sides of you. For some of you, I'm hearing that you're supposed to work with and integrate both the light spirits, spirits of the light and spirits of the dark spectrum. It would hold different meanings for different people. Now, what I mean by spirits of the light is it's, it's got nothing to do with good or bad. Okay, that light is good and dark is bad. No, it's not like that. It's more like spirits who resonate more with the light and spirits who resonate more with the dark energy. You have to integrate these two energies within you and in your work. So you have spirits from both the sides. You need to know how to integrate them in your workings and within yourself and draw inspiration from both. 
and apply that in your life and your practice. For some of you, I'm hearing you're a magician in the making, and that's quite a powerful message. You're a magician in the making. You're doing good. Keep going ahead. Don't doubt yourself. Your confidence is infectious. It's going to touch other people's life. But watch out for obstacles and hurdles. Going too fast too soon can make you overlook the obstacles or the blocks and you may stumble and fall. So watch out for that. Like, I would say lessen your speed of how you're progressing. Take one step at a time. Understand what you're doing. Or give it a thought before doing something. So that was it for you, card number three, or the Smoky Quartz people. I wish you all the best. Take good care of yourselves. You. <laughs> Moving on to the last, last card, which is my Amethyst Point people. Welcome, my Amethyst Point people. And I'm going to be selecting one card from this beautiful deck to give you an insight into your spiritual growth. Where are you right now? Wow, I got the Seven of Cups. You people are symbolized by the explorer, the scientist. You want the best of both worlds. You're exploring many, many areas when it comes to spirituality. You're trying out new things or you're trying to blend things together. Blend practices together. Blend... Uh, different spirits together or trying to work with many spirits some of you are spirit keepers you're practicing spirit keeping and you have many different spirits with you what is coming up very predominantly here is water spirits air spirits dragons and serpent spirits many of you are working with these spirits or these are like take your pick i would say that those who have selected this pile Mm, you could be having like you're meant to work with either of these spirits or maybe a little of all these all of these spirits or some of these spirits you would know it you would feel it so you could be you know uh, drawn to or meant to work with water spirits serpent spirits dragons air spirits like that earth spirits also i'm hearing but yeah i'm feeling a, a predominance of water spirits here there is blue 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 there's water in the background there's water in here so a lot of uh, watery energy emotions deep deep emotions and you're slowly but surely rising the ladder <laughs> this this cute little ladder over here you know okay i'm hearing slither like the snake go gracefully like this slow don't try to approach it straight direct to point but go like this you know twisted path is what i'm hearing you're meant to walk the twisted path so you m might consider not walking straight like this but gracefully moving like the snake Let your water flow, let your emotions flow, derive inspiration from your emotions. Many of you, I think majority of you are supposed to work with the element of water. Many of you who have selected this pile are even from water signs, having rise, rising sun or moon, rising sun, moon uh, or Venus, water signs, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be having these signs as your rising sun, moon, or Venus. Or if, if that's not the case, then you would be showing characteristics of these signs. Or you could be very much in touch with your emotions or emotionally intelligent people 
or uh, people who have a lot of compassion, uh, love for art, poetry, finer things, uh, very uh, deep people, you know. It's not easy to always understand what is lying there in, in, this, in the surface. Many of you have beautiful eyes, <laughs> I'm hearing, like if, you, if, if people look into your eyes, they, they find meaning, they find beauty, they find magic. Your eyes are captivating, many of you. You're in touch with your emotions and you're able to understand people's emotions very well. Many of you are natural born empaths and intuitive people. You're climbing the ladders fine at a steady pace, which is good. There are two ladders over here. So you're climbing the ladders well, I would say. So your growth is steady. Good. A thumbs up to you. You're doing good. You know, slow and steady wins the race. It's it's more like that. If you're not slow and steady, if you're like, your energy is all over the place and you're not able to select what to do. Because some people who have selected this card are also like that. You're exploring different possibilities, different spirits. Sometimes you're attracted to some spirits. Sometimes you're attracted to some other. You're being asked to relax yourself, learn, research, take your time to z decide. Because... This will only make you feel exhausted later on uh, or confused or downright irritated and frustrated because you won't be able to arrive at a conclusion or maybe effectively start some work. This is for some people, okay? So for those who can resonate with this message, I would say slow and steady wins the race. Take your steps one step at a time and give some more time to understanding spirits, understanding concepts, spiritual concepts, and what suits you. So that was it for the last pile, the Amethyst Point people. I wish you all the best. Take good care of yourself. And guys, thank you so much for all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel, for your thumbs up, for your constant support. It means so, so much to me. I can't even tell you how good I feel. Every time I find a new subscriber, I wish them good luck. I send my blessings their way. Not only that, uh, the mails that I receive, you people share your lives with me. I feel so good that you people trust me. And believe me, I, I'm going to keep your trust. I don't discuss anything with anyone. It's between you and me. So you can go on sharing what you feel. And before I leave, I would like to say... When you're walking this path, there will be some amazing experiences and some experiences that will leave you feeling down, low, maybe even shocked. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going till you reach where you're supposed to be. With this note, I'll leave and I'm sending all of you lots of love.